What's up, YouTube? I'm Guy. Today on the channel, I wanted to address a question I have gotten over and over again, and that is, what watch winder do I recommend? Also, what do I think about watch winders in general? Well, over the last year, I have gotten that question a lot, and truth be told, I didn't have a lot of experience with watch winders, so I couldn't give a good, informed answer. I started doing some research about watch winders quite a while ago when I noticed the volume of these questions increasing, and I went out and tried to locate what I found to be one of the better and more recommended models on the market, and that being Wolf watch winders. If you do any research online, that is one of the top brands that gets recommended. I reached out to Wolf a while back and asked them, would they send me a sample to review so that I could tell you guys what I think about their watch winders. And unfortunately, the first time I reached out to them, they didn't say yes, they didn't say no, they said thanks for asking, we'll let you know. Months and months went by, and I decided, you know, sometimes the squeaky wheel gets the grease. I sent them another email, and they said they were sorry for not responding, and they would be happy to send me a winder for review. Gave me a list of two or three that I could choose from. I chose the Wolf Viceroy model, and that's what we have here today. Before we get into the review of this watch winder, I've got a little bit of good news, or what my friend Professor Farnsworth might say, good news everyone, this watch winder is going to be a part of my 10,000 subscriber giveaway. I already announced, maybe, I don't know, two or three weeks ago, I was going to be holding a giveaway, and I was going to be giving away a number of items. Well, this watch winder is a part of that giveaway. If you want to learn more about the giveaway, stick around till the end of this video. But for now, let's jump over to the tabletop and take a look at this watch winder. All right, guys, here we have it, the Wolf Viceroy Single Watch Winder. This winder is a little bit bigger than the typical things that I review, that being mostly watches. So if my camera work is a little bit... Uh, off, I apologize. It's just difficult to get it all in frame here. I'll do my best to demonstrate how this winder works, tell you everything I can about it, and do a good review. Now, before we jump into the winder itself, let's talk about what comes in the package real quick. I'm not going to bring that giant box in frame here, but nevertheless, what you get is the winder. You get the power adapter, which you might see plugged in back there. You get this little sleeve here. In the sleeve you have a key. We'll talk about that key more in a few minutes. You get a little thank you card with some information about the Wolf Company. And then you get your warranty card. Two year limited warranty. Your serial number and all your warranty information can be found on this. Next you get a pretty simple three page or trifold style booklet uh, instruction manual basically. It tells you how to work this winder. The winder is very easy to use and if you have any questions you can most certainly refer to that manual and it will clear that up. Besides that, basically what you got is the winder. In this case again it is the Viceroy. It is a really nice unit. I'll tell you some basic information about this winder before we really jump into it. Retail MSRP on this guy, $449. The exterior is what they call a black pebble finish. It is a leather-like material. Not 100% sure if it is actual leather or some sort of faux leather, but it is very nicely done. All folded seams and edges stitched in very, very nicely. The interior, which we will look at closely here in a few minutes, is a silver textured silk lining. We do have a locking glass closure and uh, a nice push button deployment system there. Next, we have a backlit LCD with chrome finished hardware on the controls. We'll take a closer look at that as well. The functionality of this winder, you can set it to 300 to 1200 rotations per day, and those numbers double if you are in bi-directional mode. Your directions are clockwise, counterclockwise, or bi-directional. It will spin in both directions. There is a delay mode. You can set how long you would like the unit to wait before it starts winding. There is a battery compartment in the back which uses either C or D cell batteries. Forget me, lost uh, 
uh, uh, I forgot to jot that down, but if you lose power, you can have the winder continue to function. Uh, yeah, overall, that's basically it. A really nice little unit, and one that I am happy to have here on the channel today. As I had mentioned, the front glass cover is lockable using the key, rotating the locking mechanism 90 degrees, and we can secure the front door from being opened. Simply rotate it 90 more degrees, and of course, you will be able to gain access to the interior of the unit. First thing we want to do when we get into the unit is pull the watch cuff out. Now you might think you pinch these two tabs to pull it out, but actually you pull them apart and the cuff slides out like so. In this case, I'm going to throw my watch on here and we're going to stick it in the unit. The watch I have for today's demonstration is my Seiko SKX009, an excellent watch to use with a winder because it doesn't have hand winding, so it's convenient to keep it running all the time. Now to get your watch on the cuff, the cuff does compress, so you can squeeze it down in order to latch your watch closed. Once you have your watch on the cuff, just slide it back into the housing on the watch winder. Snap it into place. It's important to note right below step one in the instruction manual, never insert or remove your watch when the drum is rotating, if that wasn't obvious. Once you have your watch inserted into the watch winder, the lower right hand knob here is your main start control. You can switch it into one of three positions, off the default position, on or delayed start or delay timer mode. The delay timer mode lets you set how long you want the winder to wait before it starts running its program in a number of preset hour intervals. Typically, you're just going to turn it into the on mode. When you turn it to on mode, you have 10 seconds to adjust the settings of your program. That is, how many rotations per day you would like it to spin, and which directions you would like it to turn, bidirectionally, clockwise, or counterclockwise. And that's basically it. You uh, just button it back up when you're done and let it run. I currently have the winder set for the default 600 rotations per day, and you can see on that little LCD display down there in the middle, it is actually counting down the number of rotations that it's spinning. Started out at 600, now we're down to 594. I have to say, even with the front glass open, I am extremely impressed with how quiet this unit is. I mean dead silent. That's probably the best way to describe it. You don't hear a thing. I have not had any experiences with some of the more lower end watch winders that you can pick up on, you know, different sites like Amazon and whatnot, but the common complaint that I've heard about them is that the motor is very, very noisy. This is, again, basically dead silent. I can't hear anything coming out of this winder, and that's fantastic. So what about these other buttons? Well, this knob over on the left has an A, B, and C. This is the knob to determine whether you go in a clockwise orientation, a counterclockwise orientation, or bi-directional winding. By default, it was in the C mode. So if you have it set for 600 rotations per day, like we have had it programmed by default, when you turn it on, it's going to rotate 600 rotations clockwise and counterclockwise. Now these two little buttons here let you adjust the rotation count per day. Since we're going bi-directionally, if we wanted 600 actual rotations, 300 in each direction, we would just set it to 300, give it the 10 seconds that it needs for the program to get set, and it goes off to the races. People have been asking me for the better part of the last year or more, like what winders would I recommend? And I'm really happy to say that this is definitely one that I highly recommend. Very happy to have had the opportunity to take a look at it. If you're in the market for a watch winder, I feel like given the overall quality, how quiet the motor is, all of the programming options, you really can't go wrong with this one. All right, guys, well, that's my presentation of the Wolf Viceroy Single Watch Winder. Two things I want to cover here. Number one, my final thoughts, my conclusions on this winder. Number two, we'll talk about that giveaway. But let me start with my final thoughts. What do I think about this watch winder? Well, if it wasn't made perfectly clear, I think it's outstanding. I think the overall quality and construction, the fit and finish is excellent. 
Number two, what do I think about watch winders in general? Kind of a little bit of a divisive debate is honestly what I have found in doing some research about watch winders online. Some people think that maybe they do damage to, the, to, to your watch. Some people think, no, that's nonsense. What do I think about that? Well, I'm not a watchmaker, so I take what I'm saying for a grain of thought, but I can't imagine that watch winders do any more damage to your watch than you would otherwise do just wearing it on a daily basis. Are all of those rotations going to be wearing out the rotor and putting more wear and tear on the motor? Not, not in my opinion, certainly not any more than what would happen if it were on your wrist. So I'm not too personally concerned about that. I would recommend watch winders explicitly for watches like we used in this demonstration, watches that don't have hand winding and hacking, that are much more convenient to just keep them running. Another style of watch that makes a lot of sense for watch winders are perpetual calendar or highly complicated watches. Keep those on the watch winder and you never have to reset that calendar. That's another excellent great use of a watch winder. I definitely like this Wolf Viceray watch winder. I've always been impressed with Wolf products. I've had a number of them, not just watch winders, but storage cases, valet trays. Everything that I've had from them has been outstanding quality, and this is no exception. Now, what about that giveaway? Well, first of all, big thanks to Wolf for sending me this watch winder. They didn't know I was going to be using it for my giveaway, so this might be news to them, and it's certainly going to be news to all of you guys. But yes, I'm not going to be greedy and keep this watch winder, although I would like to. I am going to use it as part of my 10,000 subscriber giveaway. First things first. I will be doing a formal announcement of my giveaway in, you know, probably around the 1st of October. I have already announced that a watch that I've reviewed in the past, a Devosa Argonautic BG, is going to be a part of that giveaway. Now I'm announcing that this watch winder, the Wolf Viceroy, is also going to be a part of that giveaway. But there's even more to come, so keep your eyes peeled for future giveaway announcements. But if you want to get a head start on eligibility for the giveaway, the easiest things that you can do would be, number one, subscribe to this channel. Number two, follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. All of my Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram followers will be eligible for the giveaway. And you can think about it in terms of having, uh, I don't know, more, more ways to win. If you follow me on all of those platforms and you're subscribed, each of those is going to be like an extra opportunity to win. Number three, is that three? Whatever. Number three, my Patreon supporters will always be eligible for every single giveaway. While it's not required, I will never not include Patreon supporters, so the guys that have been supporting me over on Patreon, absolutely, you're going to be eligible. Another way that you could be eligible is if you participate in the Facebook groups that I am a moderator and active member in. There are two of them. Number one, is Horology 101. I'll have a link to that Facebook group down below. The Horology 101 Facebook group is a general watch discussion Facebook group that I am, again, a moderator of, and I very much like that Facebook group. So join that Facebook group. That will be another way you could be eligible to win. Number two, another Facebook group is the Hamilton Watch Owners group. If you're a fan of Hamilton watches, you should join that Facebook group as well. All right, guys, that's going to wrap this up for today. Thanks for tuning in. Check the description of this video for links to all of my social media accounts, as well as those Facebook groups and my Patreon. If you'd like to support me or follow me or participate in any of that stuff, I would really appreciate it. As always, there is a link to Amazon through my affiliate account down there as well. If you like anything that I've reviewed and you're thinking about purchasing it, please consider clicking that link. And I get a small commission. Those commissions do add up. I really appreciate everyone that has been using my Amazon affiliate link. Um, yeah, I guess that's going to do it for today. Until the next one, bye now.